Yeah, we talked a little bit on the way here about the the difference in the Canadian audiences mm. and shows to the British audiences. Mm. What more can you say about that? What did you notice? Uh, they just that they are pretty attentive. They're standing still a lot, which is quite interesting. It's different actually. It's different from European audiences. That we've come I think it's different from. US well, they actually leave their well. homes and go to gigs. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I mean, you know, the enthusiasm for this North by North East has been amazing and clubs have been packed out. So how have you found your music received in Toronto? Like the, all the press attention, all the fans? What's the reception been? What have you been hearing? It's been amazing, actually. It's been yeah. amazing. I think, they, I think we're giving them something which um, I haven't really heard from over here, really. I think it's, I think we are. I don't think we think of ourselves as being that British necessarily, but I think in our music somehow it does reflect it. It does, there's this kind of slightly quirky thing going on. It's slightly, um, that's quirky is horrible word. Um, it's a different flavour, isn't it? Yeah, it's just different. It's, it's very, just different. very definitely a different flavour, yeah. Uh, yeah, can't really define it, actually, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't know why, but people seem to be very receptive to it, so that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. it felt really good on stage last night. Um, and uh, you just, and, and, and as, as performers, we always feed off the audience. I mean, you know that you can't rely on that because uh, there will be that odd gig where it's, it's you, a dog, and a sound man, you know, and um, so you can't expect the dog to do all the work for you. Um, but there were loads of people there, and it was. No dogs. And no, yeah. There was one point in the set, and um, we were all singing in harmony in this in a song, Donkey Work, and we finished the song, and it had gone really quiet in the room as we brought it really down. And apparently, before people started clapping, um, Mark heard this guy say, wow. <laughs> and then it was like, wow, cool. <laughs> thing, like, I've been loving the neutrinos for a like, oh, Feel the love, feel the love. Uh, feel, feel the love, love, I do, feel the love. Feeling the love. Thank Just you. Like the, the whole fun, fun, fun kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Is it a tribute to the, uh, the Beach Boys in any way? It's a little nod to them, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a little, little nod to the Beach Boys. Maybe the madness of Brian Wilson. <laughs> yes, a nod to the madness of Brian yeah. Wilson. Yeah, and yeah. just also a really nice acknowledgement of the fact that all the bands and all the people that work behind the scenes as well, um, the the all amount the, the amount of labouring you have to do, all those heavy boxes and shit, and and it's not the sort of rock and roll part of it, but it's really nice to just kind of like just pay reference to it and yeah. and. And we do it because we love it and we, we don't care about carrying heavy boxes. Do a bit. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Should we go up to the glass pot? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Look at where it is. There's some stairs. Right.